Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video that's actually been request, re requested even by one of my subscribers, um, being Helen X Beauty. Hi Helen, hope you're okay. Um, Helen asked me if I would do a tutorial on my highlight and foundation routine. Um, because she said that she always found my makeup to look really, really nice. Now, I tend to think that actually my makeup doesn't, but she sort of said, oh, no, no, it does. And I'd, I'd love to know how how you do your your um, foundation. So I thought, right, OK, so I'm going to do a tutorial specifically on foundation and highlight and bronze, etc., etc. Um, so if you'd like to see how this is, then please carry on watching. Okay, to start off with, my face is already cleansed, toned and moisturised, um, which I do every morning, every single night. I've also done um, a scrub this morning, I've done an exfoliating face mask. So I'm a little bit red, but I don't mind that so much. I mean, I am naturally red anyway. I actually do have rosacea. Um, which you can see here, which is really, really bad. I have had this checked out by the doctors now, and he says that I have rosacea with um, a pigmentation problem, which something that isn't going to go away. And I said to him, is there anything I can do? And he said, you're just going to have to wear camouflage makeup. Um, I don't really like the idea of wearing camouflage makeup because it's too thick um, and it will just completely take all pigmentation away from my face. And I really don't want to do that because I do want to have a little bit of essence of me. As much as I want to cover up the red, I still want to be me at the end of the day. So, here we go. Now, the first thing that I do is I put a corrector primer on. Now, I only have a sample of this, but this sample is the Steeler... What is the matter with my teeth today? The Steeler One Step Corrector, and it is literally just a sample. But it's the one that comes in where it looks like somebody's got a squeezy bottle of cream and done that and there's like three different colors i think it's white peach and green but i've got a sample which has kindly been given to me by the lovely ladies at m and s so i put a little bit of this primer on um just over where i had my worst red patches so here is obviously one of the worst ones my whole cheek if you can see my whole cheek is actually affected by this and I am I have it here as well but this side is obviously the worst you can really see it on camera because it looks like a red circle there with this white patch in the middle so as you can imagine when when I really first started noticing this um, I was actually quite concerned as you would imagine that it was something more sinister but I've obviously had it checked out and thank goodness it isn't um, because none of us want anything sinister so you don't need a huge amount and this goes on really really lovely and leaves your skin feeling really quite soft um which is nice but i don't i i don't leave it there i um i then use the laura uh, 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 <laughs> i really need to take some water with it don't i today i really do this is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer, and I use this a lot. There's quite a few on the market that's like this. Um, one of the ones I do like to use, I mean, obviously I used to use Smashbox years ago when I had more disposable income at my hands. Um, but I like to use the Freedom Mattifying Primer. That's also really good. Um, it leaves your skin a little bit oilier than this and to be fair I actually really do like the freedom one and that's five pounds I think this is 7.99 um and the smashbox one I think is 28 25 or 28 so as you can see big big difference but obviously back then when I first started wearing primer there wasn't anything else it was just smashbox so but I love this because it does mattify the skin out takes any oiliness away i love it because it doesn't take away the effect of the green that it's done. i mean the green hasn't done a huge amount but it helps it does really help so that's all i'm just going to let that set um 
So my foundation that I use uh, at the moment is the Rimmel Wake Me Up, and this is an ivory. Now, this isn't actually my colouring. I picked this up by mistake. Um, well, no, it wasn't by mistake. It was the fact that on the stand, it was Asda that I bought it from. It's $5.98 at the moment in Asda instead of $8.99. Um, and I picked it up, and it was the lightest colour that they'd done. I then found out they actually do do a lighter colour, but Asda don't actually carry the stock. But I thought, well, as this is the lightest one, I'm going to give it a go. Because I've heard lots of things about this. And I've got to say, I think at probably the last month, there's probably been about two or three days where I haven't worn it. Now, it's a lovely beige colour. It's very, um, it's not thick. It's got the, it's probably got the consistency of like a double cream. So I'm just going to put this across my face. I have to use a few layers of this just to make sure that I cover up my imperfections. I wonder if they do foundation for the whole body to cover up all my imperfections and one that makes me look slim as well. If you're wondering why I'm looking there, this direction, it's because I've got my mirror. So let me just do this and then you can see me what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just popping this on all over my face and stip stippling um, with my my brush, oh, no, not my brush, my sponge. And although this isn't a stippling brush, it's still the stippling way of doing it because you're actually pushing the foundation into your pores rather than just gliding it on. And you do this if you want a heavier coverage. Um, if you have absolutely perfect skin and you just literally use some foundation just to tidy up just to bring it all in together then you would just literally wipe it on and use it that way rather than doing it this way because this does make it heavier now already i don't know if you can see but i have a glow and this is the thing i like about this foundation now i didn't realize this but this foundation actually does have like very 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 fine glitter in um, which I think is um, illuminising to reflect the light, to make you look brighter, to make you look like you're more awake, to give you um, the appearance of looking full of life. Um, I just do a little bit on my ears as well because I'm down on my neck or throat, just so that that blends in because I don't want everybody to go, oh, look at her, she's covered in makeup. I mean, I want people to think, oh yeah, she looks really nice today. But I don't want people to think, oh my God, look at her. She looks like she needs to have a trowel to get that off. And unfortunately, because of my rosacea, half the time that is how I look. I'm just going to pop my mirror there just so I can get another pump. So another pump. I mean, this is really good because it's just a pump action. I mean, I've been using that for a month and you can see that I'm only, I'm literally down to there. I don't even know if that's a true indication or not, but it's not a lot gone. It's a 30ml bottle, which most foundations, to be fair, is a 30ml bottle. But if you can see, the foundation's not quite my skin tone. It's slightly darker. But to be fair, I don't really mind at the moment because the sun's coming out, or has been coming out, has made a, a slight appearance. Um, so doesn't matter that you look like you're slightly sun-kissed as you can see I'm having to pack quite a lot onto my skin to try and cover up the heavy redness I love the sound that the sponge makes on my skin when I pat it on. It's really it's a soothing sound. Okay. As you can see, there's a real sort of glow on my skin, a real sort of like shine, a luminosity. What I'm going to use now, just to give me a little bit heavier,
coverage on my red. Um, this is my my holy grail in foundations. This is Clinique Beyond Perfecting, um, and this is in linen. And this is great because it's concealer as well as a foundation. But because I'm, I'm literally because I like the foundation that I've got on, I'm just gonna put this on my cheeks where I have my really bad rosacea. Even with this, which is like known as one of the heaviest foundations that you can get on, you know, I want to say on the high street. Um, I'm talking about like that you can go into the city or in a town to buy rather than buy online. It still does not cover me up completely, but I can live with that. Um, just blending that in. You're probably asking why I didn't just use all of this as my foundation in the first place, and it's purely because I do love the effect that the rimmel gives me. I, It's nice, it's just like this luminous, without looking oily. So as you can see, although you can still slightly see it underneath my foundation, it's covered that up really well. Let's do it in my hairline as well. Okay, now the trick with this particular foundation is to let it dry on your face, is not to um, interfere with it while it's drying. And the reason being is that your skin, your t skin tone will react with this, or this reacts with your skin tone, and it will actually blend into a natural colour, so it will change into your skin tone. Obviously, if you're wearing a really dark one, that's not going to happen. Um, so you need to be as close to your skin tone as you can be. But this dries almost into a movable film, so that it it just it's like it becomes like a mask, but it becomes like a mask on your skin that is your skin. Very, very lovely. I really like that. It's absolutely superb. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to be putting primer on my eyes. Although I'm not doing an eye tutorial today, I am still... I don't like editing my my videos. I don't like videoing loads and then putting loads together. It's not a laziness thing. It's I like it to flow. I like my videos to be as they are. So apologies if that do bore everybody. But I'm just putting my primer on. The one I'm using today is the I Heart Makeup Eye Primer by Makeup Revolution. And this is really nice because it's got a slight brownie beige colouring to it. And there's a slight iridescence. Not too much, which is good because I... I don't really like that unless you are going for a real heavy sparkle eye look. So this is really nice because it does cover up any um, fine lines, and fine veins. It's really, really lovely, and it's you get you get a lot, a lot for your money. I can't even read how much there is on there, but and the colouring is really quite nice. If you can see, that's the colouring. I just so you can see, it's a it's really nice. I do like that word. It's a nice word, isn't it? Um, I have actually got one still in the packet here. This is how it actually comes. Um, and it is 14 grams, which is which is a lot for primer because I think you probably get about double the amount as what you get in other primers. So I'm just going to wash my hands while that is doing. Um, I can feel it now starting to dry. So, yeah. So far we have foundation and 
primer and we're already 14 minutes into the video so as you can see I do take time to do my makeup but it's one of them things where I want it to look nice I don't really want to do a rush job with it um, so yeah okay I think that's dried enough now so I'm going to use my concealer um, and this again is my holy grail that I use virtually every single day and this is the lasting perfection um, by Collection in Fair One. Um, and this again is a lovely, um, a lovely product and it's only £4.19. So it's great. So I highlight underneath my eyes in triangles. I don't put on too much because I don't want to look too done up, if that makes sense. Although I'm going to do full makeup today, um, it is a weekday at the end of the day. And I have got to go and pick Sophia up from her playgroup later. So I don't want all the mummies to look at me and think, oh my god, what does she look like? Is she going out clubbing? Has she got a new man? Is she having an affair? And the answer is no to all of them questions, by the way. God, I haven't even got time for the man I've got, let alone a new one. I wouldn't want a new one anyway. Right, so I've got up onto my... What, what I'm trying to do is to highlight the areas on my face that when the light hits you, it reflects off. And these are the areas that would naturally do that. I'm going to have to get another one of these. I'm running out of late, so... On my nose, not too far down the bridge of my nose, I'm a little bit on my chin. I do some on my Cupid's bow because I think that looks really, really nice. And I, most people don't do this, but I put down here as well. And my sole reason for doing that is because of the rosacea poking through. Because I can already see it poking through. So this also helps with my contouring as well. And I don't contour to the hill. I'm not Kim Kardashian or Kylie Jenner. So that's what I've got. So as you can see, this is now starting to dry on this side. So I take my blender brush. My blend. I keep saying blender brush. My blend. My bl <laughs> my miracle sponge by Real Techniques. If I stand away, can you? See, I don't know if you can see the effect that the light is having. Although it's still looks weird, you can see the effect that the light's having. So I'm just blending this out onto my skin. I love this bit. This is one of my favourite bits doing my, my um, concealer. Because this is when my face starts to come together. And I can see the made up me appearing. When I've just got foundation on, I don't see it. I just see someone who looks washed out. I was going to say pasty, but I don't think pasty is the right word. Now, I I don't do my makeup on days necessarily that I've got photography jobs. Because anyone who has even picked up a camera while they've got makeup on and taken one photo will know that your camera gets covered in makeup. Um, and it doesn't look good when... You're trying to show your client pictures on the back of your camera and it's caked in makeup. So I tend not to do it on days that I work. So today is a day off. So that's blended in. Now, I'm going to do a little bit more because I don't know if you can see on camera if it looks too bright or not. But in the mirror, it doesn't look too hot. I'm not only that, I put two coats on this side and not this side. So I'm just going to go in and do that again. It, I also try and do, if I can, just in these corners of my eyes, only because I have purple pigmentation in the corners. And I want to look bright and breezy. Not absolutely shattered as if I've been up all night with Sophia because she's been in my bed and because she's been, have her knees in my back, which 
Yeah. Can be very, very uncomfortable. And I've got a super king size bed and she always manages to push me right up to the edge, bless her. But I don't mind. I've got to embrace it while it's happening. So Helen, your little one, when he wants to climb into bed or she wants to climb into bed with you, and you're thinking, oh, I really need to sleep. Just remember, you don't get it for many years. So Sophia starts school in September. So I am already at the stage where it's like, I know she's going to be wanting to be a grown up. She's not going to want to get in bed with her mummy and have a cuddle. Although, even at my age, I have been known to get in bed with my mum and give her a cuddle, but my mum's poorly blessed. My mum's in hospital at the moment. Mum, if you're watching this, I hope you're feeling better. She's had a knee replacement done um, two days ago, and she's I haven't actually spoken to her, but my dad has sent her a picture. Sent me a picture, sorry, of what she's like. And she was absolutely zonked out in bed, bless her heart. In the hospital bed. Okay, so I'm done with this. So let me just look in the mirror behind, because this is the mirror that I use every day. Yeah, that, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Now I'm going to set it. And I'm going to set it with my Freedom... Um, strobe palette and I've got the one out that's cream I need the one that's actually powder which is this one and this is fabulous because you have your contour shades up here you've got three then you've got your highlighters and I use these two as setting powders for around here because it really highlights your eye your eye area it um, brings out um, perfect skin as opposed to my skin that isn't <laughs> that is not flawless um, and I do you I'm trying to find my brush this isn't good I'm trying to find my brush I should have organized this before I started this video shouldn't I um, I use my real techniques brush to do this um, and it's part of the face kit. Do you know, this is going to be great, isn't it? I'm not going to be able to find it. Isn't that typical? Isn't that typical? Right, I can hear you all singing, why are we waiting? See, so you'll just have to wait a minute. <laughs> right, I'm going to use my foundation brush for this. Because this is ideal, actually, because it, it gets right in. So I'm going to be using the um, the banana coloured one, which is the one in the middle. So put some, and then I'm just going to just set the concealer under my eyes. Did you hear that? I hear a little buzz in it, so I think there's a wasp trying to get in. I keep getting this queen wasp trying to get into the house. I think she's looking for somewhere to nest. I keep getting her out. Now, apparently, Kim Kardashian is a massive fan of banana powder. Um, so that when she's having photos taken, you don't get the glare. You don't see powder. Because the thing is, with when you're taking a picture... On a camera and you have to use flash um, depending on where the light is bouncing if the, if the if the light is bouncing wrong and it hits the face full-on it can show all the powder that you've got on your face as opposed to having this luminosity um, and apparently I don't know how true this is because I haven't put the theory to the test apparently banana banana powder banana colouring powder um, actually stops this from happening so not that I expect the paparazzi to follow me around today well not today at least anyway they might do tomorrow okay so I've set There we go, that's all set. So I'm not going to put this away because I do use the highlighter in this, which is absolutely stunning. Um, to be fair, most of Freedom and Makeup Revolution stuff 
is really stunning. I actually need that palette now because I'm now going to be doing contouring. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, I to do contouring, I usually use my big fan brush um, to put it on because you get a really, really good sweep. But I believe my fan brush is under, under the camera. There, it's a nice big one. This is um, Beauty's Factory. This is just one my mum's given me, bless her. So you literally just need to do a sweep. Knock it off. We get a nice straight line. And with contouring, you need to do... <laughs> where you suck your cheek in okay and from your ear and finish at the outer corner of your eye because let's face it none of us are Kim Kardashian um, and we don't want to look over contoured especially when you're my age which is 21 Okay, so I'm going to do some up into my hairline as well, just a little bit. And this just gives you a, a natural looking shadow. So you're producing your, your light and you're producing your shadow. Now, I also do on my jawbone. And the reason I do this is because it falsifies having a nice chin rather than the 10 that I have so I literally just on the jawbone as such don't overdo it because you don't want it to look like you have makeup on and the reason I'm talking like a ventriloquist at the moment is because I don't want to move that makeup okay so if you can see it looks like I have a shadow here, so it doesn't look like I have a double chin or a massive double chin that I do have. I also do my nose, but I use a very small fan brush to do my nose. And you need a smidgen, not much at all, just a smidgen. And this is great because it's actually the shape of your nose. And I do in my eye as well, to cord, to bring, if you can see, a false shadow. There, it's completely changed the shape of my face. Well, no, it hasn't. It's changed the appearance of my face. There's nothing that can change the shape of your face unless you're having surgery. So that's it, I'm afraid. You know, makeup is there to enhance the beautiful features that you have. So let's just blend this in. I'm probably wondering why I haven't put finishing powder on. Um, and it is purely because I don't want to be too caked up. Because I have concealer and I have my um, setting powder on there and contour and two lots of foundation, I don't want to overdo it. So I'm not doing it. I don't want a powdery look. I want a dewy look today. So we just blend that all in. Now I find this takes a while to, to get this blended properly. And I always find that this cheek never ends up looking like this cheek. It doesn't matter how I try. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, next step is my blusher. Um, and I'm using the I Heart Makeup Blushing Hearts in the um, Peachy Keen. This has got to be my all-time favourite blusher. I really love this. Um, it's 
as you can see, you've got two light bronzy and then this beautiful dusky rose colour. So we we'll swirl that round. Um, and you literally just put it on the apples of your cheeks. Because this is, a, is to, to make you look more youthful. Oh, I've just met my first love. Ooh, that sort of like flush. Okay, so as you can see, I've not put a huge amount on at all. I've kept it very delicate because there's nothing worse than seeing someone who's just got too much blusher on. So blend in. That's really, really important to blend in. Get rid of any harsh lines and also make you look more natural. Voila. Okay. Now, as my bronzer, I'm also using another Eye Heart Makeup Blushing Heart. Um, and this is Summer of Love. And the, oh, I love this because this is the one where you've got the three tone. I mean, these are just absolutely gorgeous colours together. And again, Gently, very, very gently, marry them up. Marry the contour and the blusher up. And I'll put a little bit on my forehead. And I do down my neck as well. Make sure that's blended in properly but that also gives you a false shadow. So it makes you look like you don't have a double chin. So as you can see, I haven't put a huge amount on, just a subtle amount, just to, so if I stand back. Okay, now for my favorite bit, my all time favorite bit. Um, and this is highlighter. Anybody that watches my videos will know I love highlighter. And this is the Freedom Highlighter um, in Diffused. Now that is just an absolute stunning. Now I've said this before, you can see, really see a sparkle on the camera. But in reality, it's not there. You can't actually see it. But that is just gorgeous. Um... And again, I literally take um, a setting brush or a contour brush. I use a Real Techniques one. Um, I do like Real Techniques. So just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it. And then just literally in a C, on your cheek. And what you're effectively doing is you're capturing the light. So as you turn, the highlighter picks up the light um, and reflects off, giving you a glow or what appears to be a glow. So I'll put some on my forehead. I really do love this highlighter. I'm addicted to highlighters. Um, I've got loads. I've got a new one come through this morning, actually, which I shall do a video later on um, in a haul from MUA, which is the new cashmere one, which I'm really excited about trying um, because it really is lovely. Don't forget to put some on your cupid's bow and your chin. I put a little bit down here just because I'm trying to reflect light away from the redness in my face. So, literally, under and a C, under and a C, under and a C, under and a C. You don't want to cake, if you're like me and you've got wrinkles, because you are 21, um, you don't want that to sit in there. Um, and because one thing you will find with any highlighter that's shimmery, it will sit in the lines and you, it's not very flattering. So, blend in. Um, and that is, that is my foundation and my highlighter tutorial. 
Um, I'm going to put eyes, my eyes on, um, but I'm not going to go through that on the video now because we're already at 34 minutes, so we're a bit late. I will come back though and show you the finished look completely, just so that you can see how I transformed from what I was to what I am now. But this, I'm just going to blend in a bit more, this is my look, this is how I like people to see me. Um, I feel... I wouldn't say I feel beautiful because it would take a lot of plastic surgery for me to feel beautiful. And no, I don't want comments saying, oh, no, 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 no. that's how I feel about myself. That's never going to change. Um, but I feel presentable, I think is the way to say. I feel presentable. I don't feel like I stick out in the crowd because I look weird with my rosacea. I feel comfortable. So... I'll show you the finished look in a minute, but thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Helen, let me know what you thought. Um, and if you want to know anything, then do, please leave me a message. Um, I will put the products down below, what I have used and where you can get them from. Um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Hi, Bye -bye. okay, so now as you can see, I have my eyes on, I have my lipstick on, I have my hair down, so I'm looking more like me. This is the finished look. So you can see how the light captures the highlight against the skin. And I think I'm a little bit overdone on my, I just splodged with my finger. That's okay, that'll come off, that'll work its way off. So, yeah. So as you can see, I've completely transformed. I do look completely different to how I did earlier. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Helen, I hope this was informative for you, my lovely. Um, I hope that some of you would enjoy this. I hope that you give me a big thumbs up. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Um, but thank you very much for watching. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.